Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to part 14 of my Let's Platinum Rise of the Tomb Raider series. We're getting through it now, nearly there. Um, we've just left Soviet installation, we've 100%ed uh, that now uh, and we're on our way to research base to help Jonah. Yes, that's his name. Uh, in the description, timestamps like usual. This is a short linear area, one we're going to do 100% in the first run through here. So we do not need to return. So yeah, at the beginning there, this is where I left off the previous video. Um, we've gone into the cave at the top of Soviet installation, and we're now moving towards uh, research base, which is, um, yeah, it's fairly short. The minute is sort of the minute. The video is about 23 minutes long. So uh, yeah, it is uh, quite a lot of action in this one again, uh, as we're moving towards the end of the story now, really. Um, after this video, I'm going to do a clean-up video. I was just going to do Geothermal Valley because that's where we end up. Uh, as soon as this area finishes, we'll be straight back in Geothermal Valley. But I'll I just nip to um, Siberian Wilderness and the uh, Flooded Archives to uh, clean that up as well. So yes, we will be 100% complete up to the point of uh, moving on. So everything we've everywhere we've already been will be 100% complete after the next video. And then we'll just move on uh, towards the end of the game. Um, and that will be it, that'll be 100% done. Here's a little squirrel, he's always here. So you can kill him <laughs> if you really want to. Uh, for an easy uh, animal kill towards the 50 kills if you still need that. So we're getting there now, we're, we're actually in the uh, getting towards the research base. So once you cross that log, look to the left, and uh, yeah, there's going to be one of the three uh, survival caches here. Now there's a deer. There's going to be a short, very short cut scene here. And there's going to be a deer uh, ahead of us. Um, you're going to see me sh kill it, shoot it twice. Uh, there is a reason for that. So there's going to be this little cut scene here. And then there's going to be a deer. If you move, the deer will run off. It'll spook in. It'll just run off. Uh, my idea was... I wonder if we can get the uh, the trophy for getting 15 uh, kills, uh, deer kills with a heart shot. Answer is no, we cannot, unfortunately. So if you do the the uh, have true shot, you'll get that that hit. And then I uh, reloaded the checkpoint 15 times, did the same thing 15 times. This is number 15, um, and it doesn't work, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't know what the hell happened with the body there, uh, but yeah, so. You will definitely be able to get one here uh, if you don't spook it. The idea is kind of a story thing. Is The idea is you spook it and there's two guys up here. They'll kill it. Uh, but if you don't spook it, they won't kill it. Um, so yeah, make sure you just get that heart shot then. And we'll get the rest of them as we clean up in uh, Geothermal Valley and uh, some Siberian Wilderness. And you can get it post-game as well. But uh, I was hoping we could do it there, but unfortunately not. So I'm just going to kill these two with knife... Um, stealth takedowns, and that's going to be Blade of Justice for me with the uh, the stealth kills with the blade. So you're going to see that uh, Blade of Justice pop as soon as I kill this guy. So there we go. If you still need uh, to get the stealth kills with a knife, don't worry. There's plenty of opportunities coming up. Uh, there's a bit of a stealthy area this one. So the continue on. We're actually go supposed to go up that log, but the first challenge. Uh, truck, whatever it is, not that. Yeah, they're all trucks. Um, this is basically this uh, explosive container. So blow up the uh, barrels next to it, and that's just one of four. So I'll have a quick look behind just in case there is nothing there. Um, poison is a big thing in this one. There isn't any poison or mushrooms to find, but poison arrows are really helpful. Um, that's why I'm having a look around, just in case there's any of those containers that have the random things in. There was not one though. Yeah, because there's going to be groups of two, three enemies like here ahead of me. Uh, and we're going to be stealthing. Or I am. It's completely up to you if you want to go crazy with a machine gun, then go for it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to stealth for the most part. or try to. And you see how good the uh, the poison arrows are. You'll want, if you are running low, make sure you do save uh, at least two or three poison arrows for the final fight of this area. It's a pretty tough fight, um, 
there's not much in the way of places to hide um, and you're underwater to start with so you have to kind of walk get out out of the water and um, get to cover quick so you need uh, something like poison arrows that's going to take out groups of enemies very quickly so we just take these out this is the last one I think for this area so that's true shot doing its worth work there as well no don't need that radio <laughs> I'm looking for mushrooms I don't think the guys ever have them on on them unfortunately and there's no caves or anything in this bit so I'm just gonna go and get the archivist map obviously this is not needed but if you want it it's here behind this uh, bridge we need to go uh, sort of to the right where it mentioned the broadhead arrows before there you can see the path we're going on where it mentioned the broadhead arrows before that's where we're going so it may look like I've cut big areas out um, it's not that open it is very linear still um, I'm just on the opposite side of the trees that's all so the yeah the weird thing with these broadhead arrows is if you shoot one into the broad into the uh, wood it'll stick and then if you shoot another one quite close to the other it will make it leave they're quite annoying really so the best thing to do is jump up and press triangle stab the next one in uh, if you have that skill of course if not you will have to try and uh, shoot the arrow while stood on it not the best really quite a few guys in this area so I'm going to do some stealthing Yeah, I'm going for the poison arrow. I don't have any left. Quick, quick, craft. Oh, I didn't get all three, unfortunately. So yeah, you can see there's plenty of opportunities for the, uh, the knife kills here as well. So yeah, lots of guys around here. Bit of a waste of a poison arrow. I was hoping it would get the second guy, but it doesn't. He's not playing, he's not coming round. I think, no, this one doesn't see me, we've got the true shot. So it is a really good ability actually, because you can just roughly aim at their head uh, as long as you draw back and uh, zoom in. It's this one that gets me. <laughs> yeah, I get, I get true shot and then it kind of doesn't. So I'm not sure what that was about. Anyway, last two guys, doesn't really matter. Stormtrooper special then. <laughs> he couldn't hit me. So yeah, this is where I killed that group before. I'm going to go through the trees and this is the main path. You, you have to come this way. So don't worry, you're not going to get lost. I'm going to run back and jump across the bridge that we were underneath before uh, where we got the archivist map. I'm jumping across that bridge now. So I'm going back towards the beginning of the area and I'm just going down to uh, to get a survival cache it's on the opposite side you may have noticed this gate before and yeah there we go so we'll continue on now one of those uh, snowmobile things is uh, one of the tankers we need to blow up so you'll have to look around it for the red um, barrel it's on the right side of it. There is a chance as well that the, this guy will be here. You can see him randomly just waiting for me. I think he's kind of alerted, but not really. And that should be it. So yeah, look for the barrel at the back here. Oh no, it's on the back. It's on the, the right side of the other one. I do apologise look for this mural here we need to go through that crack in the wall on the left so look for the mural here and then uh, get through the crack for campfire number one a bit of gold in that one I'd rather have had some mushrooms but gold will do I suppose and then you can see right next to it very obvious uh, relic there I think they're just getting lazy now it's not even hidden 
to right next to a campfire. So nothing to do there really. I'm not bothered about weapon upgrades right now. I'll uh, do those later on. And now I get the skill point, of course. I'll uh, again. I'll just do that later on. Just need two more skill points, and I'll get the uh, the trophy full, fully upgrading one of the trees or the branches. Skill branch. So here's the. I was talking about the opportunity to get the uh, the water kills. There's this one, and then there's going to be another one later as well. So it's practically unmissable getting the uh, the water executions. You have to go more out of your way not to get that trophy. Glub, glub, glub. So there's just the one guy on this side of the snowmobiles. On the other side, there are quite a few. We'll just go and grab this strong box while we're here. Yeah, it's like they're not even trying now. Uh, all the things are very uh, obvious in this one, actually. Strong boxes and documents, relics and things. Poison cloud for you. Poison cloud for you. It's just so powerful. <laughs> And lockbox is next to the gate where we came in. New shotgun. I'll just stick with the pump action for now. And there's a, a couple more guys. I think there's two. There's definitely one more. Lara is creeping. Oh yeah, he's next to the truck. He'll be behind this uh, this first truck. Here he is. Because uh, whenever Lara's creeping around like that, there's uh, someone else to kill. And then when she'll put the bow away. There we go. We're clear. So go behind here. You're going to find survival cache. The final survival cache. Number three. There it is. Right on the edge. You can see it's pretty linear. It just looks more open than it actually is. Now we'll have a quick look around for some more <laughs> mushrooms, but uh, nobody's giving any away. And then this one here is uh, another one with a tanker on can't get it from the back, you have to go on the other side. So you don't want to stand too close to it. Now we're going to start going uh, through the documents, now that we're getting into some buildings. They're all very obvious. As you can see. We stand now on the very cusp of a so directly after that is going to be uh, another relic. It's around this same building. Again, this is path you have to go. Not round the building, but up to the front of it. No. The, the, uh, the extra things actually on the back. It's hard to make out on this one, but there's a bit of a signature engraving on the back. Nope, nothing over there. Getting desperate looking for containers. Want my mushrooms. Another relic, the final relic. As soon as you climb up the ladder. And then there's going to be a couple of documents in this room. The, uh, again, it's writing engraving on this one. There's a container. Don't think it has any any mushrooms in. No health. <laughs> I won't 
document on the left and then there's a small room on the right which you you have to go in so you're going to struggle to really miss these ones there we go document number three And then, uh, yeah, continue on. There's a ladder here. Nope. Nothing in there. Yeah, so the little cutscene's going to play as you open this door up. And, um, yeah, you be basically... It's not chase sequence, but you're in a hurry. It'll make sense when you see the cutscene. Yeah, standard stuff, really. I don't know how that was still a stealth kill at that point, because he, de he definitely made me. Yeah, I do think this is uh, one of the best things about these Tomb Raiders, these, uh, these chase sequences. I suppose they do them in Uncharted as well, don't they? And then we're aiming for that water tower over there. Just make it out. Don't do a jump there because I nearly jumped off the edge. Got a bit ahead of myself. And zip line down. And then here. It's going to be a satchel. I thought there's something around the other side. So I'm going to go and have a quick look back. I thought there was a crate, but there isn't. It's just the satchel on the op opposite side, which is completely useless because we already have all three um, survival caches so yeah it's there <laughs> if you want to get it for whatever reason last tanker is down here so make sure you get that before doing the zip line and then zip line in and we'll get the final document and that will be it with regards to collecting things we are 100% complete at this point well in a moment we will be So go down here and then under the stairs, final thing. 100% and I'll just show you that on the map. And there you go, save Jonah. Getting there now, almost there. So we'll actually be getting two more trophies, but they are just uh, story ones. Uh, so yeah, another cutscene will play out there as you walk through there. You'll end up here and you'll get whatever it takes, story trophy. Uh, and then I'm going to just have a, a play around with what I've got. Might as well finish Hunter at this point, even though I don't particularly care about the the upgrades. Just need to finish one of them. And then I'm actually going to switch to uh, a rifle, um, not a bolt action for once. I'll try this military rifle. I uh, don't actually use it, but <laughs> I've equipped it now. I'll probably use it later on. They found their way to me. Now I'm going to have to deal with them. Any old upgrades will do. Right, so your weapon of choice really should be uh, shotgun now. There's going to be a lot of uh, sequences where guys are going to rush you. Hey, mushrooms. <laughs> guys are going to rush you, so... Uh, yeah, there. I've sort of noticed it. Make the quickly make some um, poison arrows. Make up any other arrows you need. And uh, yeah, there's some oil here, which is kind of rare. Not as rare as mushrooms, apparently. Yeah. So as you go through here, this is sort of a, an action sequence. Uh, guys are going to be coming in, and there's going to be a helicopter. So yeah, stick with the shotgun. Like a lot of these guys are going to come running towards you it's not difficult in any way but don't waste your uh, poison arrows or anything on these guys yet you want to save them for the end of this bit so they're not going to come down the stairs here I thought I'd test my uh, machine gun but I don't get the chance to so yeah it's just a Running section. 
And then there's going to be a, guy, a couple of guys to the left. Uh, I can't track the movement in there. <laughs> just wasn't quick enough to track him as he runs towards me. I can't get around. Uh, easy. Um, yeah, and that's uh, that's pretty much it. Now it's a case of uh, just this one here. And then run around this corner. Another cutscene will play and you'll sort of dive to the left-hand side automatically. End up in the water. And uh, this is the bit you need the uh, poison arrows for. So again, there's going to be a free stealth kill here. Just wait till the others have walked off. Um, it's hard for them to see you up here, but they do spot you very easily, if that makes sense. Like, they can't have seen me just pull that guy under the water, because he was yellow. They, I don't know. But if you swim, there's plenty. There's a few different holes under the ice. Obviously, we can stay under the water indefinitely now, so it's not a problem. Uh, just staying under the water. You'll see them walking around with their lasers. And they will spot you if you're under the water like this. You're not safe. And there's not much in the way of uh, anywhere to hide. There's the odd crate and thing. There, he spotted me. I mean, okay. So I'm just going to let him spot me. Go around to the opposite side. And then uh, get out of the water. There's an easy stealth kill. So you can see there's lots of smoke, so it is technically hard for them to see you, but they do still spot you pretty quickly. So just get poison arrows out and try and take out a few of them with it. And then uh, we'll switch to uh, explosive. Fire doesn't seem to do anything. or well, completely missed for a start. And once, the all, once they're all dead, that's the end of the level. The end of research base. You're done. It will automatically take you back to Geothermal Valley and that's where the next video will start. The next video will be a cleanup video, uh, the three different areas, so look out for that one. Right, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.